Okay, sorry guys, I was going to do this earlier, but I had to take a bath. I'm not feeling a hundred percent, and my voice is <clears throat> sorry. Okay, so I channeled a couple times with this case, and I've made small videos here and there, and some of those have to be held back for just because it hasn't come out. Okay. But if y'all go back to my EVP and I have unlocked it, you can go back and listen to it again and read the description below. You're going to see that I said some things that I was like, I think I've said that. <laughs> but you know who else says some things that needs to be looked at? Katrina. She said that she felt like somebody was awake when this all started. And I didn't get that. <clears throat> so good job Katrina good job and then sorry like I said there's some things that you know spirit confesses at times when you do these things and you can't tell everybody um, exactly what's being said you just can't you're like I can't tell people that you know this could be bad right so there's some things in here, and I'm going to do my best to see it. I can't find my glasses. I had them. I lose them. I take them off. I put them away. I go back. They're gone. <laughs> Don't ask. I've tried. I've tried to find them. I had them when I was at work. Ow. I had them at work. And, uh, yeah. I took them off. And now they're gone. Okay. I'm going to come to the table. Oh, Lord, that light's bright. Yeah, I'm fine, guys. I'm just coming down with the crud. So, prayers up. Light a candle. Palo Santo. You know, all the good stuff. Ah, that's not staying. Obviously, I'm not prepared. I thought I was going to do a walk and talk, but as I was walking, I just like, uh, no, walking's bad. Okay. Um, so, this date is from the other night when Mystic Brady did her live. I was channeling just a little bit that night, trying to put some stuff together. Really was bothered with this whole one person kind of man thing. I was trying to figure out who did what. And let me go ahead and say one thing. I did ask about everybody, all the players, you know, that I was feeling, words, names. So, um, so I wrote down Brian. And then I got, did this. And I said, then I, this is what I heard. I heard, no, no, no. Yes. I was like, wait, which one is it? <laughs> no or yes. So then I asked about Jack's. Remember, I kept getting Jack. And then this is what I heard. Was there, did not do this. But accidentally let him in. And I think what they mean by that is when he leaves, he doesn't lock the door back. Or maybe when what we now know is that Uber driver comes and drops off the, the food. Maybe that door didn't get locked back. Or maybe he was already in the house. I don't know. You know? Um, I looked at the time. You remember back when I heard, what time is it? And I heard somebody say 4 a.m. That was weird. I was like, okay, they were still alive at 4 a.m. That's what I got intentionally. Um, like, I, I could feel that because they were smiling at each other, Maddie and Kaylee. So, um, okay. So, all this is alleged, of course, you know. I'm just going to go over some things I got, and I'm going to go over some things I've said, and some things that I still have in a recording or two that are on the back burner, because they have more details. Okay. And, of course, some of the stuff that's in this one will probably be put on the back burner. So, I will get back with you with that. It's not that I'm being secretive. It's just I'm trying to put out the factual stuff that... Um, I've picked up since I wrote this. Okay. Um, I'm trying 
trying to read the top of this. It's hard. I was writing really fast. Scrape the blink in Madison. Uh, scrapped the knife in the woods. I heard that also. I know. Let me show you the date. Y'all can see that. Okay, there's one, one, three. So that was a couple days ago that I wrote all this. Okay. It was a night that Mystic Brady did her live this week. So, okay, Kaylee and M, which is Madison. And she, the funny thing is I was about to write out Madison, and she made me do like an M with a circle around it, like Superman kind of feeling, like a superhero. Um, because I asked who, who told me this. Scrapped the knife. Oh, let me tell you about why I say that. Um, so the night after I had the dream about the vent and the knives being put in like the wall area or the, it's not a floorboard because it's like, it's on the floor. He's kneeling on the floor and he's looking down into the area. I don't know. I look lovely. Um, my hair was really cute today, but it's fallen. So he's like looking down on his knees through the wall at me. So I think it's a wall between, so maybe a wall, baseboard, something like that. Anyway, or a cabinet, maybe, you know, maybe. So he hit him for a minute, right? Um, but that night, so in my dream, I was walking, and I was walking, and it was really dark, but I knew I was in the woods because I could see a tree and some light and some trees and some light, and I could hear the crunching of leaves. And then over here on this distance of I'm facing, like, south, and I'm walking east, direction I see light glowing and I'm thinking it's a fire pit so I'm thinking okay somebody's camping out I as I get closer I start hearing tink 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 like and it's like it's speeding up right so as I get closer this figure which I can't really make out is it's definitely human he's got a hammer and he's folding metal like he's doing metal work like he's putting it in the fire pulling it out folding it in on itself so I said what the hell does that mean um and I kind of wondered like is it possible that he might have broke down these knives that he used because when he pulls the knife out of the wall it's not one knife it's multiple knives and he takes them all and he throws them in a, in a bag and he leaves and I wake up you know this time I'm watching him hammer this knife like he sticks it in and he brings it out and he folds it and folds it and folds it and then throws the extra metal into a bag. That bag he buries. So if you got buried, you're right, partially, is what I'm feeling, okay? Um, of course, alleged. We don't know. We don't know. And it will all come out. But that forge, and I, when I woke up, all I could think of was forge and fire, forge and fire, forge and fire. And I was like, wow, really? <laughs> you know, so. Um, so last night I decided I was just going to channel. I, or not last night, the third. I don't know where the third was, not for us. Um, so this is what I heard. I heard Brian did this. I heard no, no, yes. And then I asked about Jack. And I literally put the, the S because I asked about Jack D too and I went down the list. Um, he says, was there, did not do this, had to leave, going somewhere. And then he said, I said, then why didn't I see him leave? Because remember, I see him in the house, but I never see him leave. And I couldn't figure out why, if he was there, he must have done this, right? If you don't see him leave. My bad. I'm sorry about that. I apologize 120 times over again. But I had to ask. So, um, had to leave. And then I hear, they heard noises, okay? Because they literally, like, show me, like, somebody leaning over the banister, looking down, trying to see if somebody was downstairs. So they heard something downstairs at this point. Mm -hmm. This is, like, probably a little bit later um, it says, they heard noises, and they said, call Jack over, okay, so 
what I see them doing at that moment is they're freaking out. It's almost 3 a.m. They're they're calling Jack D. Like, hey, come over. We need you to come over here. So that might be a reason why um, they called. What else we got? Uh, I said Maddie didn't check downstairs. Maddie didn't check downstairs. They were scared. So they never went downstairs, but they were hearing noises. Okay. They called him and I said, who? They said, Jack. And I said, Jack D. They said, no. I said, Jack S. They said, yes. That's why you saw him. I was like, okay. Um, so at this point, they kind of showed me Jack S. leaving because I wanted to see Jack S. leaving. I said, did Jack S. ever leave? And they show me him literally walking outside and shutting the, that sliding door behind him and walking around to the side. As he gets around to the side of where the front, where his car should be or a car there, there is a car there and it's waiting on him to get in. But he hears something snapping like a, like a, a twig or something snapping in the woods kind of on the side. So he turns and he says, Jack saw someone in the woods. So, he probably thinks he did it, you know, because he had been drinking. He was good in the Uber home. or So, I can say, I mean, is it true? Not. I don't know. It'll have to come out. But, you know, I do see Jack finally leaving. And I was like, thank God. Because they didn't show me that in the beginning. Um, so... If you got a jack around the area or around the kids, of course, we were right. But he was not here there at this time. Um, and I'm sorry that I put him in the building in the beginning, but it's because I never saw him leave. So, okay, so what do I got here? We need to do the other day. Oh! They said after they showed me that he heard someone in the woods, he said, met him the other day. And then I asked again, I said, are you sure it wasn't Jack? And then I heard, yes, Jack left. I said, okay, I'm sorry. I even wrote it. Yes, Jack left. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I said, uh, now... Um, I don't know. Sometimes I write out things that I'm asking to. So I said, now I know that this is true. Um, but can't explain why. There's something that was bothering me, but what can't... Okay. So in other words, I say, okay, can you explain why BT or BK or... I would just say Brian, okay? The BK gives him too much notoriety. And yeah, I'm just not, not into that. Okay, so I said, can you explain why he did this? And they said, work. So I think maybe he met them at her, the, the kids' work, like you were, like they were saying, you know, initially. But I also see, saw at this point something really bad happened to Brian. And I cannot talk about it because I don't know if it's true. Um, but this is why he changed things with his life. Okay, um, so then I wrote down, I started writing down names. I wrote down Jack D, and then it said, didn't come over, was with someone. Okay, I did write down Dylan last night, or this night, the first or third or whatever. I wrote down Dylan's name, okay, I wrote down Dylan, and it says, knew something was happening, but didn't want to say it but told the cops that maybe there were fighting okay maybe I wrote down Jack D again and it said with someone so I think after they left the bar he went home with someone or was with someone I'm not real sure then I get a name and I wrote down Philip. Okay, because that's the first name that ever came out. And it came out not once, not twice, not three times, but seven times. And I was like, 
Why is this name so important? And they were like, because he's a part of this. I can't tell you what they told me about him. I'm going to cover the first thing because I don't want to say. But this is what they told him. They said, yes. Tall, red, this brown hair. Okay. I'm not going to put the other part out here. Just because I can't just yet. But then I walked away and I was watching Mystic's live okay on the third and uh i was in her chat for a while trying to answer some questions and help some people and then all of a sudden i came back for a second because she was doing a card reading for someone and i was listening and kaylee's name was written down and i didn't know why and she tells me a secret that she's never told well she told people the secret but she only told one person the secret and this person told one person, and that person told another person, and all these people are dead. And I thought, that's not good. So if this ever comes out, okay, I will either expose somebody someday, or um, I don't know. We'll have to wait to see. We'll see how Spirit wants me to handle it. Because I'm not really sure. They give me the information. I just write it down. <laughs> I don't know how to handle it. But she did say, tall, red is brown, reddish brown hair. Okay. Then she tells me her secret. And then she talks about freshman year. That she met this Philip character. Um... I think it was like her freshman year there in the very beginning before all the mix of the shit happened. She ran across this kid. Okay. He's older. Um, maybe by a year or two around her age group. Maybe a little older. I'm not sure. Kaylee's like two, 22, 23. This guy is probably about 24, 25 at that point. Now he's like 28. Um... Oh no. In freshman year, so she would have been 18. He would have been 20. So he's like at least two years older than her, maybe. Anyway, so she tells me the secret and then she says, um, Oh, so she tells me the secret. Oh, fuck, I don't even know how to say this. So I, I may have to skip this part. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure out how to link it together from the sweat. Okay, so they run into this guy a couple years later. She recognizes him. She tells her she tells Maddie. Maddie tells Zana. And of course Zana tells Ethan. And that's the link to this Philip guy. Okay? Something that happened her freshman year. And she runs into him. And Anyway, so that happened. And um, let's see where we can go with this. She told Dana, who then told Ethan, oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, fuck. That's what I said. And she said, yeah. Make it all make sense. And then she said, Maddie told Adam everything. And that made more sense to me because then I was like, okay, so sometime in August she runs into this guy. And I'm not saying it's Brian because that's not the name I got to get, the name Philip, okay? Also, if y'all go back and listen to the EVPs, I wrote down the name Brandon originally, but in my description, I might have said Brandon, maybe Brian, you know? And that was, what, a couple weeks ago? Um... But because I, I wasn't for sure when I heard it the first time, I was like, I can't tell if it's saying Brandon or Brian. And I know I saw a, a guy getting into a car and it looked like one of the Jacks. I think it's because I literally was trying to see Jack leave. And instead, I saw all of them leave at the time. So I don't know. It's kind of confusing. There's so much that I'm so confused with still because as soon as they said that they thought that this guy did this by himself, I went, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I've always had three. 
And one of them I felt a female presence with. So, like, I feel like somebody has a girlfriend. Um, I don't know why. I've always felt that. And then this shit today, I was like, oh, I hope not. Um, allegedly, of course. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to hold my head up because my head hurts pretty good. Okay, so where am I at? Um... So Maddie says, Maddie told Adam everything. I said, fuck. Well, I can't say that anymore, right? Or, or can I? I don't even know anymore. There's so many rules. Well, anyway, I said F-bomb. And then she said, yep, I was stupid freshman year. Wish I could go back. So here's my thing. I don't see Maddie running across this Brian kid. I see Maddie running across this Philip kid who has an association with Brian. I see Philip and Brian talking. I see Philip and Brian studying together. I see Philip and Brian, like, um, hanging out, going to the bars, talking about things. Like, they're friends. They've been friends for a while. I think they went to school together. If I could just find this Philip guy. Um, when I asked about Philip, I that one word that I can't put in there, that one word that's right after. I had like the hardest time pulling my hand up off the paper because I didn't want to write it. Whenever they first said the first word of the first letter, I went no, and I was like pulling my hand up, and I felt it just like slowly come back down to the paper, and they made me finish the word out, and I was like, okay, you guys are strong. So Santa came through for the message for Mama. She said, uh, I was mad. She said, I'm not mad anymore. Mama, please forgive me. I forgive you. Um, it's time to let go. I will visit. Thought that was very, very sad. I started crying. I was just like, oh my God, that's so sad. And then I'm over here trying to help Mystic at the same time. When I wrote that, I was like, okay, I have to see. I can't see anything in the chat. What's going on? Um, and then Tracy's like, put on your glasses. And I was like, uh, I can't find them. <laughs> I just got to get another pair, an extra pair. So I always have some. Um, yeah, Zayna came through like that. And I was just very, like, emotional. Allegedly, of course. Entertainment purposes only. My name is Ruby, just Texas Medium. And I am only intuitive psychic mediumship. Okay, where are we at? Oh, oh, Ethan came in. This is like, he says, um, I was fucking furious. He took everything. I was covered up. Wait, oh, it was covered up. Wait, what? I was covered up. I don't know what the fuck that says. It says I. I were working through it. Oh, okay. That's what he says. He says, I was fucking furious. He took everything. I am working through it. Ethan. But does a cover up false lead mis misinformation sorry I'm I don't remember writing that <sighs> okay that yeah I don't know I don't know what he means by that because I haven't I spoke to him kind of briefly earlier when I was listening to Dolly Vision and I started getting mad. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting angry for no reason. And then I heard Ethan saying, this is such bullshit. So I was like, okay. So he's coming through slowly. Um, I don't think he trusted me and I don't think he believes in psychics. It's more like she's dragging him with her when she wants to visit and they come together and then he says something and then I catch it. So it's not like he's really wanting to talk. It's more like he's still very angry and that's okay. He will work through it. He will be okay. 
Um, I don't blame him. I don't blame any of them. I really want to talk about the whole D thing, but I can't. <laughs> because I get mad. And I can't. I just think it's all bullshit. I don't believe it that. Okay. Um, Ethan never woke up till the end. That's what I heard. Um, when I held him. That's what she said. She said, Brian, we don't know. We don't know. Blank. He fought Ethan. Oh, we, okay, Brian, she said, we don't know, but he fought Ethan that night at a party. What night? I like to know when Ethan met Maddie. Because, okay, so Brian, I guess, might have fought Ethan at one point, maybe, maybe that night, or that night at a party. I don't know if it means that night at the party or like sometime in the past, maybe more recently. And I thought it was Philip. He brought Philip there with Philip all night. Hmm. I don't know. That's weird. Because Philip, 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 Philip. Okay. I did it real quick because, yeah. You can see it slow if you want. But there's reasons. There's some things I just can't t say it yet. It goes back to Maddie's secret. Um, Zena. I'm trying. I said, oh, I said, Zaina. She says, I'm trying here. It's hard. Please come back. Um, at that point, she was fading away. And I said that I'd just let go and let her just, you know, go do whatever she was doing. And she said, please come back. Because she has more to say. She said, Maddie... Please don't tell Kaylee's secret. Yeah, that was Maddie. Maddie came through and she said, please don't tell Kaylee's secret. So there was a secret. And I don't know exactly what the secret was because, you know, she just told me that she did come across this guy her freshman year. His name is Philip, And he knows Brian. And maybe... Maybe he has nothing to do with this, but Brian knows him, knows his secrets, knows, I don't know, knows more about her friend, somebody that he called a friend at one point. And he sees this chick and he's like, holy crap, there's that chick. But there's more to it than that. I know there is. That's okay. When they want me to. When they want me to know or tell you guys, I will. Um, okay. Philip Okay. I said who is Philip? And I got Blank's friend. He went back a long ways. So I'm thinking Brian's friend. Um Brian's friend. They went back a long ways. Because I couldn't understand. I can't read what I wrote. Like <laughs> my handwriting's hideous. Um, lots of hatred towards women. Always wants it his way. And then he writes a really ugly word. He thinks that women are all W. Yeah. So, and then I quit channeling because I was really tired and I was trying to focus on the live. Um, but yeah, I started channeling this right right before she went live. 
and then I channeled it just a little bit during the live and then I stopped and I just haven't been back to it but there's something that happened I do believe freshman year with Maddie and some guy named Philip. maybe they dated maybe um, not freshman year in high school I'm talking like college like they're up in college and, you know, I wonder, like, how long has she known Zayna? How long has she known Ethan? When did they, like, really start hanging out with her? You know, did she know him from the neighborhood? Were they always friends? Had they been friends for a long time? I know Maddie and her had, but I'm just saying, like, there's, there's something more to this. And I don't think it just started with Brian just being a crazy and deciding to kill four people. I think that them knowing some secret of Kaylee's got them killed and I allegedly of course but I don't know I'm just really really feeling it and I can't let it go even whenever they said hey we got this guy and they showed me his photo and I went kinda you got one maybe and I mean he looked like the guy I just saw longer hair um so I don't know why I saw longer hair on him but there's still a redhead out there. Redhead, brown hair, reddish brown hair. And I've been seeing reddish brown hair since the get-go. So that's my take on it. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I look like crap. I don't feel great. So I'm going to go take some more medicine and get to bed. Um, I try to be as kind. You know, I just, I, I want closure for them. They need closure. They're going to get some, but there's, I still feel like there's connections to at least two more people. Um, Philip, whoever Philip is, you know, and uh, FEMA, maybe Philip's girlfriend or Philip's sister or Philip's friend or, <sighs> yeah, go back and <laughs> listen to my EVP. I kind of said it, and, or they said it, I should say. They said it in there. So, if you want to know which one, because I have two out there on the Idaho floor, look in the description box, um, not description box, in the comments. If you go to the comments, you read the comments. I always go in and tell you what I got in the comments. So, whatever one, yeah, listen to them both. Ah, who cares? Anyway, and give love to my friends and my family and all my sisters out there. You guys got a lot of information on this case. Don't lose hope. We're not done yet. Okay, love y'all.